Hello everybody and welcome back to the third part of the Keylogger tutorial making. Right now, what we want to actually do is, you might have noticed that once we actually run our Keylogger2.py and we type something in, it actually prints out as we type. Now, for example, if we do not want to get this printed out as we type, we actually want to either print this every 20 seconds, 30 seconds, or we actually want to write this to a file at any certain period of time. So, first of all, let us see how we can print this every 5 seconds as well. So, let us nano our keylogger2.py, and let us set a function that will actually uh, print this every 10 seconds, for example. So we type in our keyboard and every 10 seconds in our terminal we will get printed out everything that we have typed in our keyboard. So, in order to do that, let us make a function called, for example, define print. We do not specify anything in that function since we actually don't need to. And what we want to use is the global variable that we use, so the global variable keys which is this variable right here. And all we want to do right here is print keys. Oops, keys. Now, basically, uh, what this will do is if we call it, it will basically perform the same as the in the previous tutorial. Now, uh, in order for us to actually make it run every 10 seconds, we need to import a library, which we use for the first time for now, which is called threading. So, just go up here, and below your Py input keyboard, import threading. Now basically what threading allows us is in this case to use a function called timer, which will actually perform the, uh, the function we specify in the brackets every certain period of time that we also specify in the brackets. So let us see what I actually mean. So we print the keys, we print our current state of the keys, we then want to set the keys to be nothing, since we do, not, we do not want to print every time everything that we type, for example, if we type hello world in the first 10 seconds, we do not want to type the, uh, we do not want to get the hello world prompted in the second te 10 seconds as well. Now, I will show you what I mean in a second, but before we do that, let us set a variable called timer on which we will use to actually use our threading library and actually uh, use our print function in order to make it run every 10 seconds. So, timer equals, and now we use this syntax right here, so threading dot timer, and then here in the brackets we need to specify two things, which function we want to use, and at how much period of time we want to run it. So we want to run it every 10 seconds, then press comma, and then we, which function we want to use, we want to use the print function. So. Basically, what this means is, as I said, it will run the print function every 10 seconds, and what print function does is it just prints the keys. So, all we have to do right now is type here timer.start, and we also, in order for this all of this to work, what we coded right here, we want to actually uh, call the print function somewhere. Now, we will call the print function in our with keyboard listener, and right after it we want to call the print function right here. What this will do is it will call the print function, it will go right here, then this will start the timer which is trending, which allows us, uh, basically this threading right here and this library right here, allows us to run the function while the rest of the code is running itself. So what this does, it creates a separate thread for this function which will run every 10 seconds, and it allows us that at the same time our keyboard listener will run and listen for the uh, input keystrokes. So, uh, all we have to do right now is actually delete the print keys, since we do not need it here anymore, we created a function that will actually print the keys. And let us save this, and let's see how this actually works. If we run the keylogger, 2.py, we can get the invalid syntax, so let us see what actually invalid is right here, where we actually specified something wrong. Print keys, global keys. Let's see what actually is wrong here. Can't really seem to see it. Print 
block, so we use the global keys function, not the global keys variable, okay. We print the keys, then we set them to be nothing, and then we call our function. Import threading, so this all should be good. Let me just check it out. It says invalid syntax in this function right here. So something right here is not coded properly. Uh, this global keys is good. Maybe the invalid syntax is because we actually use the name print for our function, which is already something that is in Python. So let us change this to report. We also use the report right here. We also need to call the report here. Or actually right here we actually want to use the print. Yeah, that was actually the problem. Since here, in this statement right here, the the code didn't know if we actually call the function or use the print inbuilt in order to print all the keys. That's why we got the uh, incorrect syntax, so make sure to rename your function to anything else you want, except for the uh, print option, except for the print syntax. Make sure to rename it here as well, and also make sure to rename it here as well. So let us go down here, delete this, and type here report. Then control O to save this and let us see how this will run right now. As we can see, we don't see anything. If I just type here hello world, we can see right after five seconds, which it changed from 10 to five, we actually get printed out hello world. And now in the next five seconds, we will not get printed out the hello world since we set the keys variable to be nothing right after we print it. And right now, if I just type here, what is up question mark, in the five seconds, we will get what is up, key shift, and then question mark. So our code works well. Let us nano it and let us add a few more things to it. So what we managed to do is actually print every five seconds our uh, our keystrokes. And right now, what we want to do is actually implement some of the keys uh, that we also need to use right here. So this statement right here will become the else if statement. So l if L if, for example, or let's leave this to be else. So for any other key, and we will code the L if right here. So right after this, L if key, so our key equals equals to key dot enter. For example, since enter is something that people press a lot, we want to add nothing to the file to the to the keys actually. So what we want to actually do is type here keys equals. Uh, keys plus nothing. So same thing that we did in the previous video, I believe we specified something like that. So right now keys equal keys plus nothing. We don't specify any space right here. We just leave it like this. Then we run the another elif statement for, for example, key equals key dot right, which is for the right arrow on our keyboard. So what we want to do right now, we want to add key keys, that is the name of our variable. So don't confuse this. I should have named it something else since keys and key could be confusing, but it doesn't really matter right now. Make sure to recognize that this key is something that we get from our function and that keys is the variable that we actually created. So keys equals uh, same as before. So keys plus nothing. We want to do that for all of the arrows. So else if key equals equals key dot left keys equal keys nothing else if key equals equals key dot up keys equal keys plus nothing and all we have to do is uh, for the down arrow so key equals equals key dot down keys equal keys plus nothing so what we specified right here is if someone presses the arrows, the space, the enter, basically it will not print those characters. So uh, all we have to do right now is actually test for this if it works. So let us run the program and let us use some of the arrows right here. Let's use hello. You can see that we only get printed out hello. 
we don't can we don't get printed out enter we don't get printed out upper lower uh, left and right arrow so we only get printed out the string that we type so let's just use hello world we can see we get printed out a little bit mistyped right here but doesn't matter we get printed out hello world now let's see now that we created this let's see in the next video how we can actually write this to a file and implement it finally in our backdoor so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye.